Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a way for people to sign up to our email list, to sign up to our email newsletter. And there's two main ways you can do this. You can either create a sign up form or registration form, whatever you wanna call it, or you can create a landing page. So if you have a website, a blog or something, um, you probably wanna go with the sign up form option because then you can put it anywhere on your website, you can put it on your sidebar, on your footer, you can put it inside of your blog post. And if you don't have a website, you might wanna look into creating a landing page because then you have a standalone kind of one page website that is just um, for people to sign up, to opt in to your email marketing. So you can like give away something on your landing page and uh, that way you can just send traffic to it and grow your email list that way. So let's go ahead and start by creating a sign up form. So to do that, just click on sign up form right here on the top. And there's already kind of a form right here. Um, you can take a look at that and see if that already works for you, but I'm gonna show you how to create a form basically from scratch. So we're gonna click on create a, si create a sign up form on the top right here and then this is kind of the registration form builder of uh, Aweber. I don't think it's very intuitive and I think um, they could have done a better job with um, kind of designing their forms a little bit nicer, but I'm gonna show you how to kind of get a solid form uh, working for your website. So what I like to do is I like to start with a um, just a template from the template gallery they have right here and then uh, work from there. So what I'm gonna choose for this tutorial is this sale um, template right here. And so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna choose this gray, green, white color scheme. And this is how it will look like um, for the start. So I'm gonna click on load template and then it loads this template here on the builder. Um, I don't need this template gallery anymore for now. So I'm just gonna click on high template gallery. And now we're left with this kind of basic a registration form that we can now adjust. So the first thing um, we have to decide is what kind of registration form this is gonna be. So there are four different types. And you see here right now, this drop-down menu is set to form type. And right now it is set to inline form. So an inline form is, like I said, just a simple form that you can basically put anywhere on your website, and which is what most people actually use. You also have, to, um, you can also choose like the pop-up form, the lightbox form, or the pop, uh, the pop-over, the lightbox, or the pop-up. So pop-over is just um, something that will be always visible on your website, no matter what page you are on. And it, I find it kind of disturbing sometimes when you visit websites that have this. So you can try it out and see if it works on your website or if it looks still fine for a visitor. Um, the light box is pretty much the same thing, but it will darken the background of the content. So you will you really push people to that registration form. And then the pop-up form, um, this then the form will kind of appear in a new browser window. Um, and as you can see here, many kind of browsers block this automatically. So I wouldn't recommend to go with the pop-up here with Aweber. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just create a simple inline form, which is something that most people use anyway. Okay, so we have decided on the form type. Now here you see an overview of the different elements and um, you can uh, activate and disable different elements. So um, let's, uh, for example, I don't need a footer, so I'm just gonna click on this and then it will deactivate the footer for this form. The same thing with the privacy. You see here, we respect your email privacy. If you want that uh, on your form, you can just leave it. I'm just gonna turn it off by clicking on privacy. The same thing with the powered by, I don't need the Aweber branding on the bottom of my registration form, so I'm gonna disable this as well. And now we're kind of left with this clean form right here. So um, I'm gonna start by adjusting the header. So to adjust it, I just usually click on it right here and then you can adjust pretty much everything in this section. So I click on the header, um, header section right there and that's where I'm gonna insert the text. So um, for this registration form, I'm gonna tell people that I'm giving them uh, a lead magnet, what, what's, that's what's called in email marketing terms. So we give something away for free in exchange for their email address because then people are much more likely to sign up to your email list uh, when they get something for free in return. Uh, most people don't just sign up randomly for email lists because, I mean, you get a lot of spam as it is. So um, 
uh, what I'm gonna say here is I'm gonna put the title um, get my YouTube SEO checklist for free. So I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna make this white. So I'm gonna highlight it here and change the color, um, make this uh, white and I'm gonna change the font to Verdana. I'm gonna also change the font size to let's, let's try 18, maybe a bit bigger. Let's try 24, make it bold and also kind of center it right there. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna click save field and you can leave it like this or you can add another text block. So I wanna add some more text to tell people to enter their email address uh, so I can send them my uh, YouTube checklist. So it's really clear. So what I'm gonna do is click on this add text button on the top here and then it will add a new text field. So here I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put in, please enter your email address below um, to get instant access to this checklist. Now again, I need to kind of edit this to um, Verdana, uh, maybe make this 18, make it uh, white as well, and also center it right there. And now it's kind of here on the bottom, so I wanna drag this to the top. So I'm gonna just drag it up here. And that looks good to me, so that's the way I'm gonna leave it. Now, um, when you click on this name field right here, you can change it to first or la and last name. So if you wanna capture the first name and the last name, I usually just go for name. Uh, and then you can decide if you wanna make it required or not. So if you want people to be able to also just sign up just with an email address without giving you their name, you can disable this right here, but I just usually just make it required. Um, save field and email is fine. Now, if you wanna ask for more things than just name and email, you can go to the left side right here, click on US address, and then you see some more options. So if you wanna have the address as well, you can, um, you can activate these, um, but most people probably not do this. So um, let's just remove this again, remove fields. And you can also add a custom field. So um, if you click on create new custom field, you can maybe ask them for, um, if you wanna capture like their website, if you kind of, if for some reason need their website, you can click um, uh, already exists, uh, your website, let's, let's name it to your website. Um, you can change the name here and then whatever they type in here will be saved also f um, in your email list for the subscriber that signs up right here. But like again, for most people, name and email will be what they wanna ask for. Now the button, I'm also gonna change this. So I'm gonna click on the button. I'm gonna change this to um, send it now because um, I'm sending them this free checklist, this PDF document. Um, and that's, that's it basically. That look, that's um, the form that I wanna create. Now um, let's move on to step two. So I'm gonna click on go to step two on the bottom right. And then we can name our form right here. So what I'm gonna name it, um, I'm gonna name it YouTube checklist because that's what I'm giving away here. That's my, that's my lead magnet. Um, and then uh, the thank you page. So when people type in their information, they will get to a thank you page. And with Aweber, they have a couple of different options. They have the basic version, which is just uh, basically uh, this one right here where they will be sent to where it says, you're almost done, activate your subscription. And it basically tells them to go to their email uh, inbox and then activate their subscription. And the email they will get, be getting looks like this, which uh, maybe you remember is the one that we have edited when we uh, created our Aweber account. So all they have to do then is click on confirm my subscription and then they will be signed up to your uh, email list. So. I, I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm also gonna click on open this in a new window because if you don't then it will just, um, they will kind of leave your website and just go to go to this right here. And that's not really what I want. I, wanna, I want people to be able to continue reading kind of the blog post. Um, that's why I just want it, this to open in a new window. What you can also do is just send them to a custom page. So if you have a custom thank you page, you can also do that by clicking here and then enter the URL you wanna um, send them to. So maybe to a video or another blog post, whatever makes sense to you. Now, um, already subscribe page. So if somebody already subscribed, they also will get a message um, saying that um, 
uh, they're already subscribed. Cool, now let's go to step three. And then it says we have to save our form. So click save your form before we can publish it. And now we're here in the last step. So this is the part where I show you uh, how to actually put that form on your website. And what we'll do is we're gonna click on, I will install my form right here. And then you get this, um, this Java script snippet code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, click on this code right here, right click and then click copy. And that will just copy this uh, Java code um, right here. And then I'm gonna go to my WordPress website. So here is an example WordPress website. And let's say I wanna put this form on the sidebar of my website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to appearance and then I'm gonna go to customize and then I'm gonna choose uh, widgets and then here you have the sidebar. So I click on sidebar and then I go to add widget and click custom HTML. And this, this field right here where it says content is where you need to paste that code that we have just copied. So this code right here that we have copied, we just paste it in this field. So click, um, I just click command, command V, it will paste it, click done. And then to activate it, just go to the top here and click on publish. And now when we go, uh, when we go back, we can actually check if this worked. So let's go to visit site. And then on the right side, you see this, um, this uh, registration format here. You can also kind of see if it works by just uh, typing in something right here. So let's say I'm gonna type in a random email address. Let's say Simon blah, blah, blah at gmail.com and then click send it now. And as you see here, now it will open a new tab where it says you're almost done, activate your subscription, but at the same time, they will stay on the website. So if this, so they can still kind of continue reading on the website what they were looking for. Um, and that's basically how you can put it on the sidebar. The same thing with the footer, just instead of um, inserting it in the sidebar widget, you can insert it in the footer widget. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to insert it in a blog post. So let's go to post, all posts. And then click on this one right here, which is an example blog post. And let's say here in this blog post, I talk about YouTube SEO and then I, I uh, give away this YouTube checklist and I want to insert this registration format here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in a placeholder. So I'm gonna type in 999 kind of as a placeholder. Um, this is the place where I want that form to appear in the blog post. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top right in the three dots. I'm gonna change to code editor right here. And then I'm gonna look for that placeholder. I'm gonna look for that 999 that I've entered. And here it is, 999. And here, the same thing as before, I'm just gonna paste this code right here. I'm just gonna copy again. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna paste it uh, and replace that placeholder, 999. Click paste, and that will insert that code into our blog post. Then click update on the top right. And once it's updated, let's preview this. So click preview, preview in a new tab. And as you see here, this registration form is now inside of our blog post as well as on the sidebar. So that's basically how you insert your registration forms on your website. And once you've put your registration form on your website, make sure you just try it out. So just type in a name and an email address right here. It can be your own email address. And then once you've done it, go back to your subscribers right there on Aweber and see if this new contact actually appears inside of your contact. So this is the, the contact that I've just um, inserted before in this registration form. And as you see, um, not right now, because I haven't um, actually confirmed this on on the confirmation email right here, um, it's pending right now. And once a new subscriber has actually clicked on this button, on this confirm my subscription button, this will, this pending um, icon will turn to the subscribed icon.